noise wall? Why is it so harsh? And what's with all the noise? Now the wall, I understand. That's so I could be on the other side of the wall. Noise music? Music? I've heard a lot of music in my day, but I don't think I heard any tonight. Noise music is, it sounds like an oxymoron to me. No wonder there's so many people on the oxys and so many morons doing it, right? It's so postmodern. I mean, toilet is art, so why not toilet could be music, you know? Alright, what's more of an oxymoron? Noise musician or juggalo culture? Noise artist is just one notch above sandwich artist. I take offense when people call it noise. I like to think that I'm just musically challenged. Imagine what your parents would think if they got you, uh, they got you those clarinet lessons when you were 10. And now you ended up here, you know? They call it experimental because everyone's just experimenting with gear they don't know how to play yet. The best noise set I ever witnessed it was just some construction guys building a skyscraper downtown. It was just riveting. All right, why do power electronic acts always wear all black? Why? It's to hide the, the teardrops on our, our shoulders. All right, on your shirt, I think was the joke. All right, I put fake download codes in my last cassette tape as a joke, you know, but but no one ever said anything to me, so the joke was really just on me, you know. I get no respect in the noise game, no respect. I asked Dillaway if he wanted to do a split, and he said, sure thing, and he ran right out the room. Rejection is all I ever got. When I play my delay pedal, the loops never come back to me. <laughs> I took my sit to the repair guy and told him there was no sound coming out of it. He told me that I should be thankful. No, no, no. Right, imagine if Sam Kinison was a power electronic artist, you know. You would have told me about pain! I was married for five fucking years! Ow, ow, ow! Uh, only in America do you plug a $800 synth into a $80 Behringer mixer. What's a country? Um, Alright, uh, you know, I look in this room, I see a lot of talented people, you know, and, and why'd you all give up your dreams of being a respectable artist or indie rock musician? To, perf perf to, to pursue this awful career path. People made some fucked up deci life decisions, right? All right, uh, Thank you. so my whole process with making music is just keep buying new gear and eventually you'll learn how to play the old stuff. You know, eventually I may uh, accidentally compose some good music like, you know, giving infinite uh, typewriters to the monkeys, you know. Eventually I'll compose Tangerine Dream, you know. I listen to my jams out and I go, they sound pretty okay. You know, I listen to my old stuff, I go, wow, you know. Who would have thought all I needed to be a little better was really expensive gear. My, my studio is going for that reverse feng shui look, you know. I can't remember what I had for dinner last night, but I can tell you what I paid for that DS1 back in 2001. So yeah, I got these noise-canceling headphones the other day. Um, so I popped in my new master tape to check it out, and I just heard silence. And the, obviously the headphones were too good for me, so I'm starting a new business venture. Beats by Quinn, noise enhancing headphones. I think those Apple uh, wireless headphones should be called Air Buds, you know, or at least Air Buddies. All right, what, what kind of car did Sun Ra drive? A Saturn. You would get partial credit if you said spaceship, though. Because he did have a bumper sticker that said, my other car is a spaceship. So imagine Sun Ra and John Cage's conversations uh, while they're collaborating. Probably no drugs in the room, but the two most fried dudes in the universe, right? Back in the day, the... Uh, 
avant-garde pioneers, uh, you know, that you're doing music concrete, highbrow stuff, the most advanced ears could interpret the radio static as music. Now it seems highbrow, uh, extreme music is more lowbrow, you know, you walk into any preschool anywhere, some kids beating on a Fisher Price xylophone, Sounds annoying as hell, atonal, right? Well, you're out of contact, Mike, in distortion. All of a sudden, you're Steve Reich, adult contemporary classical genius. I always wanted to have a band called Harry Parchy. You know, I always pictured these wild sex parties these pioneers probably had. But then I find out, like, Salvador Dali and Tesla, they died a virgin or something. And it makes me think, that's some dedication to their craft, you know? But so, we'll end it like this. I always wonder, how do you, what happens if you're listening to John Cage Silence and you uh, want to Shazam it? You know, how would that work? How does that work? A, um, a comedian is just someone who's under pressure to make you laugh. Thank you all very much. We love you.